hello lovelies welcome back once again to my channel this is myself here it is always pleasant to have you here if today is the first time stopping by hello there and welcome kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow me on facebook for more delicious recipes so today we are making a delicious vegetable egg sauce you will love this recipe it is so simple to combine and the taste in here will amaze you so if you are interested in this video please stay with me till the end and let's make this together part of my sub's kitchen you proud to be part of my sub's kitchen So these are the choice of vegetables I'll be using for this recipe. I have my bell peppers, onions, carrots, parsley, spring onions, and I'll show you the rest of the ingredients as we go ahead and wash our vegetables. If today is the first time coming across my channel, hello there and welcome. My name is Masof. Kindly subscribe to this channel and also follow me on Facebook for more delicious recipes. All the ingredients and the quantity will be listed in the description box below do not forget to check it up so i'm done washing up my vegetables i'll go ahead and cut it into smaller sizes so we can proceed to the next stage if you try this recipe i bet you you'll be making this almost every week it tastes so so good and all these ingredients are so healthy Kindly give this recipe a try and I know your family will love it. So with the first batch of my vegetables, I'll bring it into my pot and then go ahead and cut the rest of the bell peppers and also add it onto the pot. So we're going to cook everything together. Uh -huh. I had to say potogum shegum. Uh -huh. This recipe shouldn't take you too long to make because it doesn't waste too much time. When you come from work, you can prepare this and enjoy your meal on time. So now I'm done with almost all the vegetables and this will go also onto the pot. Everything goes in there. I'll come in with my parsley, add a bit of oil, cover the pot and let it begin to cook. So after about five minutes into cooking, I'll come in and then give it a stir so every vegetable gets well cooked. I'll cover the pot and let it continue to cook again. And as you can see, I've been checking it all the time. Give it a stir and let it cook. Remember, we are cooking it with oil. So here are the vegetables I'll be using for my garnishing. I have my eggs, my geisha, and I have my mackerel there. And that is what I'll be adding onto my stew. So here, my vegetables are well cooked. I'll go ahead and take it out from the pot and then go ahead and blend the vegetables into a fine puree. I had pepper in the vegetables. If you like more pepper, please feel free and add more. So I have blended my vegetables and I brought it back onto my pot and then give it a stir and let it begin to cook. The only job you have to be doing is to be stirring in between so it doesn't get burned. Please be attentive. If not, it will burn. Yeah. I'm cooking my sauce for about 10 minutes. I'll come in with my fish powder and then mix this all together until it is well combined. This sauce is so, so delicious. Just give it a try. It tastes awesome. I will now come in with my shrimp tablet and then add my all purpose seasoning then go ahead and mix this all together until it is well combined because i'm adding the shrimp tablet i won't be adding salt because there's salt in there i'll cover the pot and let it continue to cook so i've been cooking my stew or my sauce for about 20 minutes now i've been stirring in between i'll come in with my geisha and then give it a stir and then come in with my mackerel Use any protein of your choice. So as you can see now, my stew or my sauce is getting somewhere. You can see the oil is popping on top of it. So here I have my eggs. I'll go ahead and beat my eggs up. And when I'm done, 
I will bring it onto my sauce. Before adding the eggs onto my stew, I will give it a stir and then bring my eggs in there. When I'm done, I'll cover the pot for about five minutes before I come and give it a stir. So after five minutes, I'm giving my sauce a stir and you can see chunks of eggs in there. That is what I want. It tastes amazing. Always taste for salt. If it's okay, then it's fine. If it's less, add more. Guys, this tastes amazing. My salt is almost done. So I'll come in with my onions and some of the bell peppers to garnish it up. And this is done. I want to have those crunchy vegetables in there. So I'll go ahead and off my stove. It is done. Just look at this. So, so delicious. Give this recipe a try and I know you will love it. If you love content like this, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do me a favor by subscribing and become part of this family. If you really like this video, please give me some thumbs up, comment, like and share this video with your family and friends. I'll be enjoying my sauce with yam, whilst my kids will go ahead and enjoy this with rice. Until I come your way next time with another simple but yet tasty recipe. Bye for now. Smack like eight.